I'd like to start off just by saying uh, it's been a great year for Colorado basketball on a lot of different levels. And our team achieved a lot of success on the court. And as a result of that, a lot of our individual players um, uh, had some nice uh, awards at the end of the season. I've known Alec now for a year and two days, officially. Um, I was hired here on April 19th of last year. Uh, a year ago today, I was on the way home to Boulder, Colorado from Grandview, Missouri after meeting with his mom, and I was in full-blown recruiting mode. Um, this year's a little different. A lot of people have asked, you know, what are you doing to try to keep Alec to stay? And, and the role of uh, myself and our staff and our players uh, over this last few weeks has not been a, uh, of the recruiting uh, idea. It's been supporting him and the decision that uh, he's faced with, and, and he's had an unbelievable two years here at Colorado. And uh, so our job has been to support him and guide him and, and, and help uh, be there for him uh, for whatever he may need. So uh, I will say this, he's gone through a lot this year. Uh, there's been an un unbelievable amount of distractions and people that have come at Alec from a lot of different angles uh, during the year, certainly since the season's been over. And I'm not sure I could have expected any more of this young man, uh, how he's handled it. Um, how he stayed focused, how he has uh, kind of put his blinders on, has kept his nose to the grindstone. And uh, he's handled it as well as any young man could handle what he's gone through this year. And uh, we're all very, very proud of him for that. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Alec. Uh, you didn't come here to talk to me. Uh, I'll let him uh, make a brief statement and then uh, open it up for questions. I want to thank everybody for coming out. You know. Thank my teammates, you know, thank my coaches, you know, everybody in the media, you know, everybody's back there. You know, everybody's just speculating like, what I'm gonna do this year, you know, after my sophomore year, you know. I'll just let everybody know I'll be in the 2011 drive, you know. The plan is to sign that for the age. What were the key factors for you in making the decision? I mean, I feel like, you know, with the people that's coming back, you know, I feel like I was I feel like I was gonna be a top another a top of a pick, you know. Top 10, where a lot of you know, I felt like it's just something I couldn't pass up. When did you arrive at the decision? Actually, you know, today, you know, I was going back and forth, you know. I had some great meetings yesterday, you know, before yesterday I was, I was coming back, you know. But after the meetings yesterday and you know, talking to my mom and you know, talking to the coach, I felt like the best decision for my future is to uh, go to the NBA. Are you able to determine where you think you will fall in the draft? You know, I felt like, you know, after the season, I, I felt like I was already a lottery pick, you know, and I felt like a lot of top players, you know, that might have been in front of me or behind me decided to come back to school. So I felt like it was per perfect time for me to come out. It appeared that, that there were some guys, some of your bars, looked at the labor situation. That might have played into their decisions. Why did that not affect your decision in terms of staying in college? I mean, I felt like it, it didn't really matter to me, you know. The NBA is a dream of mine, you know, rather it's going to be, you know, uh, November, you know, January, you know, I feel like. I got, I got to take advantage of the time I'm at right now. You know, I'm at, I got a high drive stock, so I feel like I just got to take advantage of it right now. To one of the things we ask of our players, and we expect of our players, every one of them, Alec is no different than any other the rest of our players on our team. We ask them to be unselfish. We ask them to put the team goals ahead of their own. And uh, certainly as a head coach at Colorado, this guy makes me a better coach. Uh, we're, we're better with Alec Burks at Colorado than we are with him going to the NBA. There's no question about that. But for me to try to recruit him and to try to sway him back and, and, and uh, to try to not do what's in his best interests, uh, I'd be acting selfishly. And that'd make me a hypocrite. It's not something I'm interested in being. Uh, so it's as hard as it's been, as much as we would love for him to come back and join us, it's a, it's a decision that he has to make for himself and his family. And uh, we respect that. We understand that. And so has it been hard? Yeah, it's been hard. Um, very hard. But uh, uh, we, we want what's best for all our players. And, and Alex, one that's put himself in this position, uh, but if anybody was in this position in the back of that room, we'd act the same way.